Trust me, Kenny, we will find your runaway daughter soon. I know Lila, maybe even better than you. A 19 year old girl couldn't have gone too far away. We both know there's a few residences around this area. We can check them out and ask whoever we see. It's been a while since you visited this neighborhood, but I come here more often. I'm familiar with the residents. Someone here must know something. We should search every settlement. You go ahead and I'll follow. Been raining heavy for a couple of days, so there's some flood here and there. check that place. I'll be waiting around here. Hey, grab this lighter if you need to. That was odd. Let's move on to the next one. It's not too far away from here. We'll just go across the park area, and after that, watch out for the wild animals. A couple months ago, something bit my neck. They're just too damn quick. I couldn't even realize what kind of animal it was, and the grass is teeming with them this season. When Lila was born, you were 20 and I was 16. I, I remember how happy Susie was to become a mother back then. We all are indebted to her for you becoming such a nice person after you met her. When you left home at 18 with no trace, I never thought I'd see you again. Who could have guessed a woman could convince you to come all the way from halfway across the country? When I saw you with her after that long, never ending year, I knew that you'd found the right one for you.
Go see what's inside. I'm waiting here. Heard a lot of rumors while you're away from us, Kenny. Is it true that you were inside for three months? You were troublesome when you were younger, but if what they say about you is not bullshit, you're really lucky to have met Susie. I wish Lila were more like her and less like you at this age. <laughs> I, you know I talk to your daughter every day, and she reminds me of her father's early ages. But there's one thing I can't take for granted. She is faithful. That much, I'm certain of. The only problem is that she ruined your birthday today. Sorry about that. <laughs> forever now. I'll be right here. What a flood. It even caused avalanches. Now the tree trunks are blocking our way. We should pass through that gate over there. I wish the town folk weren't such cowards, not lock them. Sometimes I feel like I'm digging into the past too much. What do you think? You know what they say, life is one day and it's today. When I carpe diem, it makes me feel recharged. You know, some people live in the future. 
In my belief, honestly, that is a sin, Kenny. All these people with life insurances, the ones who save up for the far future, I don't know. I just hope that I die before I get old. Maybe these words are gibberish to you, but believe me, someday you'll understand. Don't take too long. I'll wait for you around here. No stopping now. We should check out the chapel. Maybe the priest is there to explain to us what's going on. There's a bridge ahead. You know, the chapel is not too far away after we cross it. We should push just a little more. Maybe we can reveal some secrets there. Maybe the priest will explain it all to us. I know you're not much on the religious side, and I understand that, but their God is not exactly what I have in my heart either, but anyhow, this is not our concern at the moment. After all, Lila must be all that matters to you, right? We're almost there. Be honest, the chapel is not my favorite place in this terrain. But if we gotta go, we gotta go. And let's try to be nice to the priest while asking questions. He's connected, so he may know a thing or two. You search inside, I'm here.
Well, shit happens. We shouldn't give up at this point. Let's keep on moving. I'm right behind you. These children, I envy them. They are pure and innocent. Being without their parents may be hard, but I can see the glow in their eyes. A glow so strong as if the shiniest star granted them freedom. Even if there's weird stuff going on, a part of me has peace. Seeing them as strong as they are, Watch out for the bushes. They are tall and have thorns. This path up until the four houses is somewhat narrow. A couple weeks ago, I hurt myself on the neck. Going all the way up is a little tiring, but when you reach the top, the scenery is totally worth it, especially when the sun sets and the bright starts begin to appear. Let's see what's over there. I'll wait here. It's funny the way they think they know a lot about me. I know more about them. This miserable guy wasted his long ass life drinking. He never paid attention to his daughter's graces. No offense, but if he were still here and his daughter had vanished, it'd take him weeks, if not months, to realize. Anyway, the house at the hill, that's our last stop. If we don't find any answers there, I, I don't know what to say. I hope that I'm wrong. We find Lila alive in there. Just know that she means a lot to me. Just like she means a lot to you too. So one last time, let's hope for no bad surprises. Take a look what's there. You'll find me right at this spot when you return.
Found what you were looking for? It seems that way. I wanted you to understand, though, this journey, and I waited for so long, Kenny. I never said I wanted to be God's disciple. I'll never be the one to blindly follow. Today, you've turned 40 and have seen and done some nasty things in your whole life. You're old and tired, and you should no longer taste that joy. What happens now is your choice. You either let us sacrifice your soul to Vega, or join Scions of Vega by first praying to him. Take your time making your decision.